You told me thank thank you so much for not doing what? I said there is nothing. I know, but you were telling me I'd thank you so do, much for not doing something, but for not keeping me there until two AM. <laughs> I've been there since eleven sharp. Yeah. Okay. So it's gotta be this way. Because I went in with the back of my mind and said, look, if he's up for shutting it down, I'm going to shut it down. But if he wants to leave at one, I'm going to leave at one. Yeah. Alchemy is easy to shut down. Yeah, because we can crawl over there, right? Yeah, or I could walk. All I got to do is make sure there's does always it feel that I keep huh why does it feel that I'm not getting anywhere oh now that's three yeah now it feels like I'm getting somewhere uh, we're on level four. we were on level four yeah we'll have to I guess we'll have to go to Monday Night Brewing yeah we can do that But it was a blood orange IPA, so I don't think I would have liked it anyway. Yeah. That's a Harley. That same one that was still there? No, another one. Oh, wow. So, uh, but it must be someone who has association with this building because it's reserved. Yeah, I mean, yeah. On this I guess floor. people pay a monthly fee because they work at the... But they, why would he leave his hog there? Because he feels safe. Uh, I wouldn't leave my the hog nowhere. Oh, and shit. Uh, Sixth Street exit. Okay. And where in the fuck is that at? Oh, there it is. Come through here. You saw that girl I danced with? The first girl I danced with? Nope. Oh, she was gorgeous. She had to be Dominican. Yeah? Yeah. Pay for it. You sure did. You want to give me my car back when we get home? No, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Oh, that was an easy place to park. Yeah, and when we come back, guess where we want to park? There. Yeah. Just don't forget to go to the well. You know what? Next time, I might try the um, gyro man. I uh, like to eat at a restaurant mm -hmm. here sometime. They're all overpriced. I know, but I mean, I like some good seafood. That sea level has it. Okay, lady. Make sure I don't know what you're doing. Oh, that's cool. This is North Tryon. Do I go right? Well, you could do that. Oh, yeah, you could do that and catch the highway. Okay. But you can't turn left in here. No, you cannot turn Except left on... There's a New Yorker over here that says he's going to turn left. Well, he's also going to get his ass nailed. And you know what? 
ain't nothing he's going to be able to do about it and nothing that we're going to be able to do about it either. And there's another motherfucker to show. I guess the unwritten rule is that you can, but we're not going to because we don't want to get nailed. We don't want to get in trouble. And then you just turn right on uh, 11th Street and get... This is 7th Street right here. No, I say 11th Street and get, um, you know, the highway like you come, you know? Yeah. And you just go. Go like you're going to come back from the... Uh, Just just turn right on 11th Street. Okay. And you can get the high with that one. about to come into the area they took us to on the art walk. Yeah. I felt safe. The only reason I felt safe going there is because I was with my, uh, my cane brigade. Yeah. We were a bunch. Yep. I went and gone in there by myself. There weren't any, any even many cars going by. I was like, this is a shithole if people don't even want to drive through here. Yep. See, this is why the city needs to, um, see, this is why Raleigh, Raleigh does their address system, like, way better than Charlotte does. Because if this were in Raleigh, the address for the parking garage wouldn't have said 214 North Tryon. It would have said some about in the 100 block of, uh, East 5th Street. Well, you know what's good, though? What? We found you it. You know your shit. Mm-hmm. All right, this is college next. What do I do? You just go down until you turn on the highway. Oh, okay. It's gonna, you know, the... This is where people come when they don't, like, right before you get to Uptown, you don't drive through it, but you get on the highway. Yeah. You'll know where... Uh, see, yep, this is the exact way. You'll know where you are once you get to the highway. Okay. We've been here before. Huh? It says outer center lane. Yep. Got it. Mm hmm. We come through here sometimes. Yeah, we've, we've done that. I remember now. I'm here now. I remember. Yep. If you hadn't been with me... You wouldn't have known shit. <laughs> you're right. I would have had to use my GPS. Then you know how that is. Mm-hmm. It likes to fuck up sometimes. Yeah, Danny. But my Sanctus doesn't. Because he knows his shit. Mm-hmm. I love you, son. The only reason I knew that Truist Center was even relevant to park for Prohibition is because we walked past it once. Well, that's a good thing, son. Except the only reason, see, if I wanted, next time we come here, I would try the uh, Gyro Man, the uh, Gyro Man on Fifth Street because I never got to try it, try them. But the only reason I said park at Bank of America last time is because I was going to be fresh off dancing with a bunch of girls who are all the prettiest women I'd never seen in my life. And I probably wasn't going to uh, remember in time before we got in the car to say, oh shit, the hula truck. So I wanted to park on Trade Street where I thought, I didn't know that the only pedestrian entrance was on 5th Street. I thought you can enter on college and trade. So I wanted to park on Trade Street so that we would have to go to Trade Street and walk by the hook of the truck. Yeah. 
to keep us both from forgetting. Well, it wasn't too bad. I mean, at least they had, uh, at least they had uh, a place to uh, sit. I wonder how much it is and when it's not a special event going on. Hope it's ten bucks. Huh? Taste of Charlotte that late is because my implant. Well, that was a pain in the ass. And that was not over yet. Mm -hmm. I think I need a new remote because that remote has lived a pretty rough life. Yeah. Because I've had it in my pocket at work and you know how I sit and stuff. Somehow got water in it. What? Did they finally pave this? this huh? what street is this we're going this on it's a ramp you get on 77 south about prohibition what? I'm starting to get uh, that I'm starting to become known around there but when the bouncers and the bartenders and that great yeah. I'd still never go by myself because you know the patrons some of you know If I go by myself after, if I go to a club by myself after resident culture south then, then I'm a dumbass and don't need to go anywhere by myself. Right, Daddy? I, I try to stay out of your way. You do. Unless I need you, unless somebody's like, you know, you know, the Tylers of the world. Right, Daddy? Taste the Charlotte on uh, Tryon Street. You know what I like? What, Daddy? A place that, uh, yeah. a place you, you like to go to. It's where? Market, something. 
Uh, Monarch Market. Yeah, the problem is they can't eat sushi now. Oh. I'm break that shit when I get to Raleigh, too. You what? And I'm gonna break that when I go to Raleigh. What you no, gonna no, eat? No, 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 we'll go to a 40 seconds. Yeah. Hot take, I kinda like 18 in, uh, on Ray Road rather than sushi -o. Yeah. Even though Sushi O has Red Oak and Hummingbird, 42nd Street also has Red Oak, so. They might have Hummingbird too, but I don't know. You know what I like? What, Daddy? Say. I'm out of the deal, so. You never did. You never. We never were able to get through the sentence about telling my, um,. What you think my favorite beer is? I think your favorite beer is Red Oak. Yeah. If I had to guess, make an intelligent guess, I would say Red Oak. Yeah, because you know why? Because I always seek it out. Yeah. I always seek it out. You know what? I would. I do want to go. It doesn't have something to do with Red Oak, but it kind of does because it plays into why I want to go back there. Someday I do want to go back to the All American Pub, either with you or by myself. Their food wasn't that good, but I want to go see that. Um, I want to go see that girl that was like really sweet and like even walking to the freaking beer garden because she was the one that looked up if they had Red Oak. And she walked me to it. She works at the All-American Pub, but she walked me to the Charlotte Beer Garden because it was right around the corner. I don't recall going to that. No, I was, I w that was when I went to South End by myself. Oh, okay. When I went to Hot Fly, which was the biggest, that trip to Hot Fly was one of the most, ch was probably the most challenging, challenging one I ever did. I text you whenever I move. Yes. But that, I'd rather stick to the big streets in uh, South End, like, you know, Tryon, South Boulevard, those types, Camden. Because the little streets have a lot of gravel parking lots, and the gravel spills onto the sidewalks, and it's a real pain in the ass. going to the big leagues in three weeks from now. I guess we're going three months from now to the huge leagues. Real Madrid. You know where the huge leagues are? Vegas. Yep. But yeah, Daddy, Fremont Street in Vegas is a B, it's a pedestrian mall. So think like Taste of Charlotte, but it's like that every day. There's probably more people on it on Saturday nights and stuff. But you know, I don't mind like, you know, bumping into people as I'm walking because I'm blind. No blind person gives too much of a shit, you know, it just, it just happens. 
especially if you're with a lot of blind people. Right, Daddy? You know what bumping into another person as, as a blind person is? It's like honking horns in New York. Like, no one gives a shit. It just is what it is. You just say, excuse me, or I'm sorry, and you move the hell on. What was? Prohibition. Yeah, you know why? Because it was Taste of Charlotte. People are already down there. I mean, there were parts, there were times and parts where I was over there and the people, and there were so many people that the music actually didn't sound that loud. Yeah, it did. It wasn't that. I was like, oh, God, I hope it's not my implant muffling. But no, the, the sound, when people cleared out, it did get louder again. But I knew it wasn't that because my hearing, if it was my implant, my hearing aid would have sounded loud and my implant, I wouldn't tell. It would have been more like... Yeah, but you know what? You know how I can tell when my implants messed up? If my hearing aid sounds louder, like if what's coming out of my right side sounds louder than what's coming out of my uh, left side, that's how I know it might be something wrong with my implant. But I knew it was the amount of people because the right side was also oh, muffling too. Hear. Huh? Everyone's like, how do you do that? It must be like crazy for you to go to the club and you're blind and hearing impaired. I was like, well, everybody's hearing impaired in the club for one thing. <laughs> the level's the playing field and it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see with all those people around, you know? Who has that? A few people did. Like, not, not today, but like and not even just at the club. Like a few of my blind, a few of my the people I know at work, and some people in the cl in the club have before. And that's what I told them. I said, "Well, everybody's even appeared in the club." <laughs> Probably a DUI checkpoint. They don't have to check me because you know I ain't been driving. I've been drinking, but I ain't been driving. Let <laughs> me something or some dumb Puerto Rican asshole cop put me in jail for driving with an invalid license. I don't even have a driver's license. I've never even had a driver's license in my life, Judge. <laughs> up to one in the morning or you stayed over there till one in the morning you're still up you had to sit outside today didn't you 
you couldn't find a place to sit inside, no, could no, you? I did. I was able to sit all day long inside. No, you was outside. Yeah, I didn't a little bit, I went to get some fresh air. But most of the time I was inside over there by the girls' bathroom. And honestly, if you ever need me, that's where you need to start looking for me. Where? That's where I hang. There's a table in there. Oh, like to the side over there? It's in the girls' bathroom. In the girls' bathroom? In front of the girls' bathroom. Oh, I was about to say. Dang, that's some next level girl watching you hanging out in the girls' bathroom. That sounds like something I would do if I were sighted and dumber than I actually am. And then I would say, well, I'm not the one who put a table for people to sit at in the girls' bathroom. Too, Daddy. Hey, Dad. What? So, how did you come to the conclusion? Which you, you, you are correct, really. How did you come to the conclusion my favorite beer is Red Oak? Because you gravitate to Red Oak. You like others. I think your second favorite might be Brazilian. Yep, that's true too. Presidente is even hard. Well. No, it's not, really, because Red Oak's only available in North Carolina. Except, in, in, in Vegas, you can actually have, like, cans on the street. They don't have to be in cups. The only thing you can't have is glass bottles on the street. But they don't sell Red Oak cans anywhere in this town that I know of. What do you think my idea is? Bring some red oak to uh, Vegas. Yep. And that's crazy. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. Because if you put anything in those fridges, they'll actually charge you for it. Like, if you move it, anything from the mini bar, it's ridiculous. It's... But if I lived in Whitsett, North Carolina, and I knew I could get cans, like, easily, then yeah, I'd bring some to Vegas. Hey, Daddy. You know, if we ever get to do that New England cruise, you know what it's really going to be, right? Me and you? No. Me, me, you, and Mommy. Me and you could do it, too. But you know what I'm going to have to do, right? What? I'm going to have to bring a whole empty suitcase... Full of different beers? And fill it with beers from every state we go to, and from Canada. Really? Huh? I would like for him to go on that too, but I would still be bringing a suitcase to fill with beer. Because yeah. they have... Miel is peach. Mommy's like, yeah, but they take your beer when you get on the cruise ship. It's like, good, so I don't drink it. I want something to bring home. <laughs> right, Danny? bring a suitcase an empty suitcase at every place we go fill it with a beer that I can't that we can't get here I'm walking a dog this night, late at night. 
Huh? But he's walking the dog at 147 in the morning. Probably works. Yeah, it could be a second shift worker. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dog probably is spoiled like our dog. Our dog is just right now. At one time we could say it's, he was spoiled, but our dog is just simply old right now. Mm -hmm. I guess what happens in, well, it's probably 148 now. But I guess what happens in 12 minutes? Two o'clock. Yeah, and guess what happens at two o'clock? They close. Yeah, and guess what? If I would have stayed any any bit past when we left, I would have wanted to shut it down because that's just how I think. Yeah, I know. Because I already stayed two, like two hours and change with the 30 minutes. Like I told the bouncer, that's how the Panthers lose. The Panthers, the Panthers made their issue in, like, even in the Bonito days, they would leave points on the field. Yeah. They would leave. Well, I remember what, at, at one time before Cam Newton came over and, um, Luke, Joey. Yeah. We would be winning, and on the fourth quarter, we'd lose the game. Uh-huh. God almighty, that was so aggravating. I hate that shit. Like, I don't like to go all the way. I don't like, I don't like to go, like, you know, ten minutes left, and then, oh, let's go, and then go. Like, no, I, oh. Yeah, that's the way it was. Yeah, that that's what it would be. I don't really like, you know. Like, what do I always tell you when you say the crab legs are such a pain in the ass? I don't know. What do you? Eddie, I fought bigger. I fought bigger battles than crab legs, and I won. Yeah. So to you. It's not much, but to somebody who's blind and lost a big chunk of hearing. Please don't tell me that because it makes me want to cry. A crab leg is like nothing. Yeah. It's all relative, right? All right. Yeah. I gotta bring the dog out. And them girls are pretty. Yeah. Thank you, Daddy. I got my coal shoes. Yeah. Coal set. We told mommy was telling Cole, oh my god, every time he goes out to a bar or any place he thinks he's gonna meet women, he puts on the coal shoes. And Cole's like, you damn right. <laughs> You know I'm bringing them to Vegas. I don't know if the club shirt's gonna make it to Vegas because the.